Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Mars Horizon. That's right, we're on the full release version. I think we're still a couple of days ahead of wide release, and people have uh, rightfully so received this well. What an absolute great game. Let's see if we can get a bit more of a series going out of it. Now, let's get our bearings. We have this active mission going on, but we're having a bit of a struggle in the, the Dollary Do department, right? That's okay. That's all right. That's not the end of the world. Um, we're also in the process of building mission control. And we have the heightened research ongoing too. So we might just crawl forward a month at a time. Oh, we discovered the radiation belts. We must... Okay, okay. I'm not sure how it's saved. Because I could have sworn we, we covered... That, we got that at the end of the last episode. Um, 119k... And I'm pretty sure we needed 140, well, 145. Oh, here we go. The prospects of launching the first human into space is dominating the newspapers. Most have labelled it an impossible endeavour, whilst the less sceptical outlets claim a rival agency are bound to get there first. Oh, poppycock. Several have contacted your agency for a statement. Declare that you will win the race. Yes, challenge accepted. You have replied that it is not only possible, but inevitable that a human will reach space. And what's more, your agency will be the first to achieve it. Your statement has resulted in a surge of public support. Yet, detractors maintain that your agency is setting itself up for a fall. Well, detract all you want, you pricks. We're going to do it. We're going to get it. Titan research is done, a small robotic lunar probe of cylindrical design, equipped with basic navigational and scientific instruments. Very good. Let's, uh, let's very quickly check the active mission that is ongoing. We need to build that payload ASAP. We'll go, and that's going to take two months by the look of it. All right, now, continuing on. We are trying to get the lunar orbit going, right? Parts that they suggest. Okay, boosters and upper stages. What is the difference between these boosters? Launch reliability and reliability per level, 65 and five. 75 and one. Uh, I see what's going on there. Two months and three months to build. We're gonna have to make a decision there. A powerful early liquid fuel rocket derived from an intercontinental ballistic missile. An early solid fuel rocket capable of launching payloads into low Earth orbit. Well, here's the thing. Capacity, oh, slightly more. Build time. What is our, because we have definitely sacrificed a bit of lead time on this mission. Mission not planned yet, okay. I don't want to be overconfident here, but I think we go for this one, right? The one that's going to take a longer lead for building. It's more, it's twice as expensive. That's another consideration. We've been, we're hurting for money, especially now that I've rushed us to do two missions at once. Actually, I'm pivoting. I'm making a financial decision that we're going to research the Algol booster because we're probably going to be running lower costs. Challenge, complete three milestone missions. Reward, minus 25 mission. Oh, okay. Well, we're working on that. We're definitely working on that. Okay, and Earth. Requests. Test launch. Uh, they still haven't gotten the satellite up. Okay, error two. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. All right, we've got our Algol research in. Our building is ongoing. Um, how's our diploma? We can't really do anything with diplomacy until we level them up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Um, I would go so far as to say next event, which I think is a month anyway for us. Mission control is responsible for the critical phase of a mission after launch, monitoring and issuing commands to a spacecraft. Unlocks an additional mission slot. Very good. And uh, there we go. And we've researched the Algol rocket. What's this? Spacepedia. Scout A. What's that? I'll click on it. Oh, maybe I won't. Let's see what's going on in the Spacepedia. Agency. Ooh, look at all this. 
Dawn of Space Flight. I'll tell you what, I've been thinking about this. When things like this pop up in a game... Oh, sounding rockets? What's this? Oh, okay. Um, and that'll be in... Okay, cool. Things like this, what I'll do at the close of the episode, I'll read a page from the lore. I'll do my best to remember, because I've thought about this before, because shit like this comes up. This isn't necessarily for everybody, and I understand that, but if it is for you, if you're interested in this wall of text and learning a little bit and unpacking it, then you're probably the guy that's going to watch to the end of the video. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, try, I'll try really hard to remember to do a lore page at the end of each episode, okay? Now, research. Uh, hang on, funding complete. Let's let's see what's going on here. Plan mission. Hang on, hang on. What's going on with our current Oshumi complete? Right. So we're still building that that, but we have we have um a spare spot potentially, right? And. How close are we? We're not we're not there yet for the moon. In fact, suggested mission parts. Let's have a look at the upper stage. We might bring it it might come down to cost again. 95k to hundred yeah, I think we're just gonna go for cost cutting because I'm not confident in our finances just yet. Alright. I can plan the mission though. Okay. Yeah, shit, let's start. Orbital radio. Oh he oh okay, that's the other mission that we're doing. Alright, here we go. Select a payload. Wee! Look at this bloke. Cost. Oh no. Where's the low cost version? Oh, here we go. <gasps> Reduce payload capability. Oh. I mean, I'll select that payload. We could potentially change it, couldn't we? Yeah. But I can't afford it this month. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. But we, yeah, we really want to get a rig along with. Oh, okay, look at this. Mission planning stages. Have completed the required research, but are not currently planning this mission. All right, so the ESA is going after us. The ESA is going after us for this mission. What's going on with the other missions? I'm being greedy. I want everything. All right, but no one. There's no movement on the other ones. Oh, I think we made the right fucking decision going straight for the moon one. You cheeky bastards! Look at you. Hmm. Because the only other option is to potentially take on another secondary mission, right? They're still researching. But, but so are we. Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one because I kind of, I want to stay in front. But if we're already in front, I probably want to take as much time as I can and place it into other missions. I'm a greedy boy, what can I say? Okay. Um, what is going on here? Why active missions, lunar orbit? Yeah, I can't build it. What do you want me to what do you want me to do, game? I can't build it. Um, next month. Here we go. Here we go. The orbital radio side mission. We've built our payload. Our engineers projected lower ex oh beautiful. Look at this. Reduced cost. <sighs> you love to hear it. But uh increased build time by 25%. Okay, okay. Um, look, lunar orbit's going to take priority here because it might come down to it. 97,000. Let's start designing this. Upper stage. Finally got the one choice. The Lambda 4S. Select part. Booster. We've got two boosters. We've got the new Algol booster. 82,000, 77,000. I think uh, we're going to go with the cheaper one because in this particular case, we don't need... See, look at that, the 1,000 kilo tonnage. We don't need that for this, for this rocket. Confirm. So we've got a 70k, a 97. I can only afford one this turn. Um... Expected reliability. I could potentially. How much do I make each? 57. I make 57,000. Hang on. Orbital radio is going to be 70. So th 13 grand. 
spare out of that, out of, uh, let's call it 130. I could potentially spend 130 on this payload here. So I can't really afford... Ah, oh, well, that that's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna we're just gonna do the budget one. Bit of number crunching there, but you know, I know it didn't make a difference, but still, you got you got to pay attention to this sort of thing. Yeah, okay, seventy grand. It's the cheapest we can do it for. Let's go. All right, we need we need to up that funding asap. All right, Jupiter research complete. Early solid fuel upper stage capable of lifting small payloads into Earth and lunar orbits. That's good. That's good news. Um, the Heighten, nearly there. Um, research. We're actually good for the moment, even though it's sort of flagging these other ones, because it's not like I'm going to need two upper stages. So... Not such a big problem. Oh, look at this, they're already researching it. They're researching animals in space. This is unacceptable. We need to keep pace. I, I want my fingers in every jar. Um, all right, animals in space. Let's go. Let's get that research going. All right. Um, 105k. Uh, again, we could we could change the booster section, but it wouldn't make any difference. It'd be overkill, to be honest. All right, we've got animals in space. We're good. All right, next month, let's go. God, I love this game. I really want to see where it goes when we go right out into the depths of space. All right, slower build time. That's okay. Reduce build costs. That's so good. That, that helps us a lot, to be honest, and doesn't hinder us much. Lunar orbit. So, mission plans too. See how we've got the two mission plans. So, if I were to go in... Um, no mission slot available. Right. Right, okay. That's okay. So, the the more more slots, the better. Because you could potentially have a, a, sh a, a thing on hiatus for an infinite amount of time, right? As long as you get there in the end. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Earth, they reckon. No, no, how do I get to the... Uh, do I, I click here? Here we go. Alright, so this is already getting built. Design a vehicle for lunar orbit. Right, because we made the payload, we haven't made the actual vehicle. Right, but we're only going to have two choices. Yep. Yeah. And that's researchable, but this is what we have, in fact, researched here. All right? No, no, no. The, Car the Karchi is a good name. It's a strong name. <gasps> the Algol doesn't have enough tonnage. Hang on. I've made a mistake. I've made a critical mistake. Uh... All right, hang on. Capacity, 1,000 tons. Mass, 1,200. Look at that, you dickhead. 250, 250. Three months. Three months, max distance moon. Oh, damn. Capacity, 1,200. Oh. All right, well, we've already built. No, we haven't built either of the stages yet. 95. 62 for the Algol. I wouldn't mind. All right, we're going to pivot to the... Any progress will be retained. Okay, that's cool. We need upper stage able. Ah, bugger. What a misstep. All right, so I can't even partially build this. No, so we have to wait. Funding review. Okay, that'll probably go well for us. But come on, hit the next level. Let's go. Yes! 100k per month. This is big. 128 per month. Look at that. We're nearly up to the next tier. God, you love to see it. 
Um, we need, oh, I need more research. Funding review in 12, Tanuki complete. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here except just go. We're 10 research shy. That's, co that's cost us the lead, or at least it's really put it into bloody question. All right, training. Well, hang on. <clears throat> oh, 66, 66. Let's go with uh, launch reliability. Let's get this up as soon as possible. This is the side mission that we're doing. And we're waiting for the able research. How's our lead on the moon? We're, oh, okay, they're still researching as well. Sorry, just have a quick sip. Okay. Open skies debate. A global symposium is taking place to establish laws regarding territorial space for orbiting satellites. The proposed treaty states that all nations should have free access to space. Your advisors believe supporting the treaty will improve diplomatic relations with the other space agencies, though opposing it may prove popular with sections of our media. Well, I don't think we need more support from from the home base i'm going to support the treaty I, I would like some more reputation with the other agencies 10 with everybody and we've got the able research here we go and we're doing the orbital uh radio launch uh preparations are looking good we're on 69 percent launch reliability max bonus all right, so you could do it for five five months, I suppose. That's it. Let's go. Let's launch. No. I mean, actually, you know what? It's not that pressing. It's not that pressing. Our bottleneck is our research department at the moment. That's it. We would probably get bonus research from getting this right. How badly is this going to dock us? 16%'s big, man. You know what? We're going to reschedule. I'm going to reschedule that launch date. Oh, to April. That's it. We launch in April, rip shit or bust, because we have to remember that, because the next two months are terrible, terrible conditions. Um, ESA is launching lunar orbit in, in what? In 15 months, Soviet Union have uh, finally caught up. Look at this. Launch it in 14 months. Problem. Well, actually, hang on. Let's 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 work this out. We've got two upper stages. We've only got the one. Yeah, well, this doesn't go far enough, right? Wait, we'll select this. Yeah, not enough tonnage. There you go. Select this. The, yeah, that's all we can do with the parts that we've got at the moment. Okay. Minus fuel build costs. Okay. I think that's got to do with your contractor or something. I think the US has more of them. You can get like, maybe when we tech up some more. 136,000. Look at that. Look at that. We got a big payout. Uh, it's so... That's good reliability. I'm happy with that. Let's go build. So if we were to check this. Wow, how how have they scheduled the launch 14 months out? That seems like a long time. Maybe, oh, maybe the window to go to the moon is different to here. Maybe. I don't know enough, to be honest. Look at all this. They're getting away from me, you bastards. All right, animals in space. We need to pivot back to that. At least we retained a chunk of research, thank goodness. Um, we can't really build anything else, I don't think. Like, are there any buildings that we didn't build? No. Uh, any chance we can... Oh, look at that, China fucking hates us. China. Okay. 
currently researching upcoming launch that's cool you can see a whole bunch of stuff there okay all right let's get this launch on oh no this is it this is the fulcrum point for our st for the early stages of our agency 20% no we're doing it we're launching Ichi, Ni, Sun, Shi, Go, Roku. At seven. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, he's done it. He's bloody done it for Japan. Look at that, a secure launch as well. Fucking, you, you love to see it. Leveling up the booster in the upper stage. These, This is just good news all around. Oh. Okay, orbital radio. Let's not shit the bed here. If we can, oh, if we can sink this bonus. Because it will give us big research bonus. What is this bullshit? Four and five. Oh, no. Two out of two. Wait, oh, no, four turns. We've got six power, though. So much, so much juicy, delicious power. Uh, I'm going straight for that. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good, good, good. We want to reserve as much of this power for rerolls as we can. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I never doubted for a second. Oh, I nearly gave myself an aneurysm making that noise. All right, I want this. And then... Oh, that'll take us to three. Hang on, hang on. There's probably a better way to do this. What do we got there? Three. I need one red and I need five blue, right? Which is going to be three turns minimum, right? Five blue is like two of those for sure. Yeah, if you want to do it in minimum. So we'll take one of those. Oh, can I do it twice? Oh. Yes. Oh. It's all right. We, we resist. Hold it down. All right, yes, yes. Atmospheric sampling, very good. All right. We'll just do that once. Oh, we've got the one power anyway. Yeah, no, that's fine, continue. Oh no, resist. Oh, did I mess up? Oh. Oh no. I messed up then. Did we not charge a power? Oh, I thought the slot would automatically do it. Oh, here we go, I guess. I can't trade that out. We just can't fail. I don't think you can even fail the charging of the power. I think it's automatic, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Fuck. That came down to the wire. Oh man, I can't I can't believe I left that slot empty. I thought it would auto-charge the power. He's done it. Yeah, fist bumping over there in the corner, she gets it. I bet she loves Friday night drinks. 
party animal. Oh, all right, cool. Um, now what? I guess we go hard in the paint trying to catch up a bit here, eh? Animals in space, that's happening. Yeah, we're, we're still researching, so we can't actually take the mission just yet. Do we leave the mission slot empty? Yes. Animal in space, research complete. Let's go. Oh, I can't... Complete research to start mission plan. Payload Eden. Let's go. How's this going? Completes in four months. All right. I mean, I could, well, I don't want to give up on the dog thing altogether, you know? I think we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Look at that approval. Look at that. We're going to get new funding. Oh, God, you love to see it. Science. Where are we getting science from? Science from buildings. Orbital radio expiring. That's right. So that's going to be... Look at that. We, that's a big amount of science. That's going to go straight into the Eden project. In fact, are we going to do that in like one turn, two turns? Remember the heighten was 750 as well. That took us forever. So getting that mission done on the side was a big boon. That was, that was big. Hmm... I have to wonder, actually, maybe we do queue up another mission straight away. Because we're still going to have to research all the payloads and that. Publicize mission length one month, one phase. What is this? Test launch, atmospheric sampling for 250 science. Publicized. Support reward for the mission. I'm not that worried about that, to be honest. I mean, the 400 science is sexy. You know what? We'll do it. We're going to do this. We're going to do a test launch on the side. I think this is the smart move. Oh, no, no, no. It's the sounding rocket by default. Lock it in. Let's go. Completed in two months. That's fine. It's going to take us two months to do that research plus the... Plus the booster sections and that required, I think. Like, yeah, I think that's the smart move. We need to be constantly working towards a mission. This is good. This is really good... Uh, Project management, actually, getting us to plan ahead. Now, let's go to the Spacepedia. JAXA. All right, here we go. Uh, the Japanese space program is run by the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, which is responsible for the majority of space-related activities in Japan. The Japanese space program began in the 50s with the development of rockets, initially very small, with the eventual goal of placing a satellite into orbit. Okay, fair enough. That seems to be what we're doing now. Uh, Japanese rocket development during the 20th century took place under several different organizations. The Institute of Space and Aeronautical Astronautical Science, so ISAS. The National Space Development Agency of Japan, NASDA. And the National Aerospace Laboratory of Japan, NAL. All of whom would be merged in 03 to form JAXA. Okay, cool. So a couple of little different initiatives in the early days. But they've merged as a, as a nation. Right. JAXA and its predecessors have historically been focused on the peaceful exploration of space through a variety of high-tech space telescopes, satellites, and robotic probes. Among the first achieved by the Japanese space program have been the launch of the world's first operational solar sail craft, the Icaros... I yeah, Icaros... I, I, I mean, Icaros, it's just letters, who cares? Um... Uh, but I, I wonder if that's supposed to be sort of similar to Icarus, you know what I mean? Which used energy from the sun's rays to provide propulsion. Yeah, a solar sail, right? Is it literally, it is, it's a huge surface area that takes in the sun. I, I'm not sure, actually. Hmm, I don't want to talk out my ass. I don't really know what a solar sail is. I'll have to give that a Google. But that's cool that they did the first proper one. Um... Uh, to provide propulsion, 
and the ambitious Hayabusa probe, which collected samples from the surface of an asteroid and returned them to Earth. That's pretty cool. Landed on an asteroid, presumably, while it's zipping past. Um, Japan has also contributed the large Japanese experiment module, the GEM, known as Kibo, to the International Space Station. Oh, okay. Experiment module. So it's sort of like maybe like a lab on the space station. That's cool. The Japanese space program uses a variety of facilities across Japan, with JAXA's main headquarters being the Su uh, Tsukuba Space Center in in Ibaraki Prefecture. Uh, that must be a place which includes astronaut training, satellite construction, and mission control facilities. Japan's main spaceport is the Tanegashima Space Center, located on a small island off the southern coast of Japan. The majority of Japan's space launches take place here, launching from a dramatic launch pad atop sea cliffs. And I guess that's it there. That's pretty cool. That's cool. It's a good view. Uh, image. Uh, a HIIB rocket operating from JAXA. Preparing for launch from the, well, yeah, from that place. That's cool. Anyway, there you go. A little bit of school with Scarlet. School with Scarlet. Alright, very cool. Um, so I'll try and remember that and we'll, we'll do a little lore on the end. So I think people might find that interesting. Alright, team, thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.